This is an Evergreen Media Network studio production. Welcome to the Lori Davis Show, where it's all about the amazing lifestyle on our Treasure Coast. And here's your host and realtor for life, Lori Davis. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. We're so happy that you're with us here today. This is the Lori Davis Show, and I am going to be your realtor for life. Um, this is sponsored by Dale Sorensen Real Estate. And the what I say and the reason why the, sh the purpose of the show is, is that people come to town and they buy real estate. They come here. They're not looking for homes. They are looking for homes. They're looking for condos. But really why they're here is because of the lifestyle. It's all that we have to offer in Vero Beach that's so very different from so many other communities, whether it's in uh, uh, in the vicinity, whether it's countywide, statewide, whatever. We have so much to offer. And today our show is about the Vero Beach Film Festival. Um, and we're so excited about it, but um, we're going to do the little bit that we do um, of housekeeping, I call it, before we start. But we are so happy you're here with us today. we got so much to tell you. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on around town this week, because what's going on is going to be in April. So we're going to wait for that. Um, but right now, um, Kinky Boots is playing over at Riverside. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go see it. It's so much fun. I went, I had a blast, Cindy. I know you said Laura saw it. Oh, she she loved, I gotta put my mic on. She loved it. Um, she wants to go back and back and back and back and back. It's really Phenomenal. good. Phenomenal, yeah. The, 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 the guys, the crew, the, yeah. the, um, the, the cast is amazing. Yeah, that's what she said, yeah. And we did uh, a group of about 100 people. <laughs> we have a friend of ours, Vinny uh, Olmstead, shout out to Vinny, who pulled together all of us and we all got in costume mm -hmm. and we had a little get together before the show and then after the show, we went out to Solmar and the cast came and everybody was out hanging out with the cast. It was really, really cool. That's Vero Beach. This mm -hmm. is what we're talking about. But it's a really good show. They do matinees and they do, um, obviously, the 7 p.m. shows. And it's going through March 16th. So if you haven't seen it, make sure to get out there and see it. Um, of course, Gallery Art Stroll. This is um, it's going to be Friday. It's going to be the first of the month. And so that's March 1st. Of course, you can't forget the Gallery Art Stroll and Historic Downtown Arts District. That's 14th Avenue. It starts at 5 o'clock. People just kind of go in and out. All the art galleries are open. Most of the shops are open there as well. Of course, there's so many wonderful restaurants. If you've got people in town, take them with you. Go on down on Friday. Park your car. Take a stroll. Have a drink. Look at some great art. It's just another wonderful thing that we do here in Vero Beach. Um, Cindy. The Grant Seafood Festival yes. is this weekend. Okay, this yes. is crazy. It's the 57th year. I was doing the math really? in my yeah. head as I was coming over the bridge, coming over here yeah. tonight. Okay, 57 years. So that's like the late 60s. All right, I'm not going to get technical here, but it's the late 60s. <laughs> okay. So now one of the things that's really neat is it's a, a feast. It's a huge variety of seafood prepared by local folks. Right. These are not food vendors. Did you know that? Yes, I, I went to one I of the didn't ones know in that. like 1981. Yeah, well, we I went back in the late 80s and some of the, well, I'm, yeah, no, late 90s and some of the early 2000s. Okay. But I did not know that. So you yes. got local vendor, yes. local people cooking yep. this beautiful food. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. here's, a, here's a list. It's packed. It is packed. Packed. It is, but the food's so fresh and wonderful. Lobsters, clams, shrimp, chowder, scallops, oysters, conch. Crawfish Cobia. Um, it's this coming weekend. So that would be the second and the third, Saturday and Sunday. Um, nine to seven on uh, Saturday and then nine to seven on, yeah, nine to seven on Saturday and nine to five on Sunday. So um, I did it. I Google mapped. It's 25 minutes up the road. Get your car, get yourself a beverage, go on up US 1. There'll be lots of signs of where you need to go mm -hmm. and where you turn into Grant. But 25 minutes is really, it's really just past Sebastian. Right. Once you go over the Sebastian mm -hmm. Inlet Bridge, I mean, like, whatever, the, the river, Sebastian River Bridge it is, um, it's really not that far up there. If you haven't been, you really need to go take some friends. The weather's been beautiful. Mm -hmm. We've had glory. I mean, literally, I don't know. I've seen this cloud in the sky for a week. It's so gorgeous. So mm -hmm. the weather will be great. That's wonderful. Um, and then, of course, we always have to mention the Vero Beach Farmer's Market on Oceanside mm -hmm. on Saturday mornings. I mean, if you, again, if you have people in town or you haven't been or you're new to town, go out to Oceanside. It's on Dahlia. 
and Ocean Drive right across from Humiston Park. Part of it is right there at the sidewalk at Humiston Park. It is a delightful experience. There's usually a guitar guy out there, a girl mm -hmm. playing some music. Um, there's fresh food, veg, uh, fish, meat, and then there's some barbecue guys out there that make it smell so good. You won't, you won't get out of there without eating a barbecue sandwich or taking it home for lunch anyway. So, but just get outside. It, it's super, super beautiful out there. Citrus Grill House, we always like to thank Chef Scott Verricchio for pri providing a, be be a beverage. I haven't even had any beverage yet, and I can't say it. Damn it. I hate when that happens. It's like, I, I wish I'd done like a shot, but I didn't. Anyway, today is a beautiful, and, and this is one of my favorites, and they know that actually there. This is a Cabernet. It is quilt. This is quilt. It's a. Um, it's from the Camus family. Mm -hmm. It's one of the children that actually. Um, there's some other vineyards um, that are off that chain of. But this is um, a Cabernet, and it is absolutely beautiful. It's, it's a Napa Cab, and it's delicious. It's wonderful. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's my go-to Cab at Citrus. The other one is. Um, a white burgundy that I like if I'm going to go white. But thank you, Chef Scott Barricchio. Let's take a taste. Mm. Mm. And drink it by that view. I know. And here we go. So if you're watching the show, you can see Citrus Grill House. It's right there across from Humiston Park. It's directly on the ocean. It is um, 1050 Easter Lily Lane. That is that Humiston Park Street where you can park around just south of Humiston Park. Wonderful restaurant, great staff. If it isn't fresh, he's not serving it. I sent Chef a text today and I said, what's new and different? Mm -hmm. And he gave me something that sounds amazing. Um, let's see what Chef's got. It was a, a carpaccio. Okay, carpaccio of roasted beets, local citrus, grapefruit, oranges, blood orange, mandarin oranges, avocado, shaved fennel, olive oil, and balsamic. It's It's beautiful. <laughs> And it's delicious, and I can't wait to get over there to do it. He takes the citrus that's whatever's fresh, whatever veg. Someone told me they had a um, a crazy salad over there. It was over burrata, and the tomatoes were delicious, and the basil and the crushed um, pistachio. And he, they said, I go, well, if the tomatoes aren't right, he's not going to serve a carpaccio. So anyway, thank you, Chef Scott Verricchio. Go on over and see those guys. Tell them Lori Davis sent you. It's a fabulous place. We enjoy it. We love it. Thank you. DSRE by the numbers. Um, we got to talk about Dale Sorensen Real Estate. Year to date, we're at $126 million for 24.5% of the market share. Last year in the past, I've been doing this show for about five years. We always maintain about a 19, 20, just under 20%, which means yeah, I had a fifth of it. But now uh, we're at almost 25%. Yeah, that's great. And the next close is at 10.8%. So they're all sharing the rest of it. Um, and they're at $55 million. Cindy and I talk about she likes numbers. So there's only 43 business days thus far in this year. That's crazy. So if you look at that and you do the math, it's 2.9 closings a day. These are closings. So we're almost closing three product, three uh -huh. properties a day. So um, we like to say that we do it better. We like to say that if you come to Dale Sorensen Real Estate, whether you work with me, Lori Davis, or one of our other agents, um, we're doing it right. And we seem to be um, get taken care of most everybody that's in town so uh i hope you'll call me laurie davis if you need a realtor uh if not just call dale Sorensen real estate they really the the quality of the staff is in and the realtors is is very very high total sold in Indian river county year to date 514 million dollars and 514 million dollars in 43 days it's it's very dynamic out there there's a lot of things that are if it's coming to the market they're going quickly again not getting a lot of multiple offers but they are happening if it's priced right. So if you're in the market to buy real estate, um, remember you need to act and be ready to move. We have one of our favorite guests today. It's Vero Beach Film Festival. It's always, I love these guys in the studio. We always have such a great time. Um, one of our favorite guests is with us today. She's a co-founder of the film select, she's a co-founder of the film festival and film selections chairperson for the Vero Beach Film Festival. She is also a mother, a wife, and a longtime dear friend of mine. Welcome Susan Horn. Hey Lori. Yay. Love that, love that, love that. We also have David Dukir, who is the executive director 
director of the film festival. Um, welcome, David. It's always good to have you. We need a little balance here. Thank you. We need Thank a little you. testosterone in the room. We're kind of tilting to the side. Well, I'm not sure how much. But. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's all good. We just love to have you here. We need you. We love having you in the house. No, it, it's great. It's really good to have you. And I know you, you add a lot of wonderful um, strength to this, uh, to the billboard here and what they do at the festival. You know what? Tell us a little bit. How did you get to be the executive director of the film festival? Well, well what that's, brought, a, okay. that's a story Two different by questions. itself. How do you, I mean, what right. is it that brought you to this position? Actually, I was thinking about it because we were talking before, um, before the show started. Um, and the, the conversations for me started for years. I, I was on the other side. I was a, a sponsor. You know, I represented clients like uh, Procter & Gamble and General Motors and Ford. And we spent millions of dollars at film festivals, sponsoring film festivals. And, you know, for years, I never thought I'd actually end up in the position. But for years, I had a special affinity for uh, film festivals. But I think one of the things that really caught my attention is... In many film festivals, the filmmakers are not treated as special as they should be treated. Um, they, they, they're the ones that produce these films. They make these films. And sometimes they're given very little space to talk about their films or answer questions or Q&A. And I thought that when I joined and I met Susan, well, actually I knew Susan way before. Yes. Um, but when we started working together, you know, I learned something about this particular festival that I thought was incredible. And that's the way uh, uh, filmmakers loved us. And that's because we took very good care of our filmmakers. Mm -hmm. The easy part was that we actually put them up around town. People in Vera, when you know this because, you know, yeah. you always uh, talk about it at the beginning of the show. We are an amazing community mm -hmm. that takes in people. Yes. And our filmmakers come and they know they have a place to stay. But more importantly, a lot of our events and a lot of the things that we do for filmmakers, very few other film festivals do. So I think if to answer your question simply, this position was for me because it was about the filmmakers mm -hmm. here in Vero. I think you really made a big difference there. Mm -hmm. And they become a fabric part. You yeah. know, that's the thing. That's like what Riverside Theater does is they bring down actors and they stay in Vero Beach. They interact with people. But mm -hmm. what you've done, and I, I, I never knew that about you, that you were on the other side where mm -hmm. you would sponsor. Yeah. It's a big deal. And it's a big difference. That yeah. you have them come in and, and actually stay with people and and, and, and and become a part of the community. Yeah, and it's something we really want to build on. And, you know, I think, you know, if I had my druthers, and everybody says to me, you really say the word druthers? <laughs> yes, and say it again. Right. Druthers. <laughs> if, I had my, <laughs> if I had my druthers, uh, we'd be doing even more for filmmakers. You know, yeah. we're, bringing in, we're bringing in people, industry specialists, to sit down and talk to our filmmakers. And many of our filmmakers, and Susan knows this because she's got an affinity toward younger, newer filmmakers. Um, I do. They, I know you do. They need all the support yeah. and all they the knowledge do. they yeah. can get. And, you know, selfishly, half of it is altruistic and half of it is selfish. The more we give to the filmmakers, the better the films that are going to come into us. Right. And the better the films, the more we have to share with the audience in Vero Beach. Correct. And, you know, it's, it's funny because, Susan, you do. You love, as in your position, um, you know, you are the one evaluating the films and deciding what films come to be I'm one shown. Of many. Okay, I'm yeah, one no, of many. you're on the committee. You're on the but committee. But she's got final say so. I know. <laughs> and then and there we you have go. a little more going. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Well, tell us a little bit. Tell tell our audience a little bit about how does it go? How are you deciding? Do people? I mean, obviously they 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 give films to be displayed and you guys decide on how many. Yes. So Tell us about the that. how many is actually based on how long the short films are. Right. So the how many is, you know, I want a block of, of an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half of short films. So mm -hmm. depending on how long the films are, we'll determine how many films are in those short blocks and that'll determine how many films we'll have. But we're having about 80 films this year. Wow. Out of 450, at, I yes, might add. out of 450 wow. that were submitted. Wow. You've it was been painful. busy. It was painful. I was going to gonna say. You know, <laughs> actually, watching was great. It was painful making final choices yeah. because oh, yeah. there are so many films <laughs> yes. that we love that we have to say no to. Oh. It's 
it's heart Can we just push them to next year? Or are they top? <laughs> no, but is it something like if it's not this year, it can't be next year? It could potentially be next okay. year, but most of the time it's not. Okay. Most of the time they're on their festival run. It's about oh, a year. Okay. Yeah. And so there's not a reason for them to come back again the next year. Right. But occasionally we have some that are, you know, from the past or... And right. some very prolific filmmakers who come every year or every other year. Yep. I've seen that too. Yeah. I've seen repeats, yeah. you yes. know, and yes. they like our, they like our festival. They love our festival to the point where I had to turn a few of them down this year. And they're like, what? They were so sad. I know. <laughs> like, Please come back next year, but just know I love you. I just can't take your film this year. Right, <laughs> so, right, right, but right. It's fun. So are there topics when you're, now you do shorts. I do. I do shorts. I look at the features as well. And features as well. Okay. So are there topics that you're looking for specifically? Because sometimes, I mean, I don't know. Are there topics? I'm just going I'm, to let you broad stroke that. I'm looking for, I, I, don't, I don't limit myself on topics. Okay. But I'm looking for, I definitely will want some environmental films. Okay. I'll definitely want at least one wine film, mm -hmm. just because we love wine. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's just a thing. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Have one. <laughs> um, you know, food films. Yeah. I have, uh, some of the films, though, this year are really super cool. My wine film is probably my favorite wine film that we've ever had, and I'm pretty sure the filmmaker's coming this year. It's called Wine and, it's called War and Wine. And amazing film. It's an amazing oh. film. It's about the wines of Lebanon and how they're making them through bombs dropping through oh and this and we're talking seven thousand years of this yes. complete unrest. And they are making wines in Lebanon and they're amazing wines. Wow. They're being sold all over the world. They're being written up in wine magazines and they may not get you know, at the right exact time. So that that's a really amazing film. They made the cut. So the cut's they, already been made. Oh, the we know made. all the films. Uh, what, what, what I was doing right before I came here yes. was looking through trailers to see which ones we can use to start promoting. I'm organizing where all the films are going. It's a lot happening right now. There is. I know it's getting close. It, it, it's closer than we think, right? Oh, yeah. So it's April 11 to 14, <laughs> yes. correct? Okay, everybody, April 11 to 14. That will be here before you know it because Friday's March 1st. Don't say so. that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, David. No. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Okay, but it's sorry. true. You're, you're forgiven this time. I know. I know. You're like, I'm never going to be on your show again because you did that to me. Um, well, let me ask you a question then. Um, tell us then, Susan, about um, about where these things are going to be shown because I know there's always different venues yes. every year. Yes. Tell us what's going to happen. Where are they going to be? So we will have a lot of films at Majestic Theater this year. I I love that. It's awesome. Great. We location. also have the Women's Club. Yeah. We have, oh, why am I driving? Theater Guild. Mind? Theater Guild. Community <laughs> Church is a new location for us, and they oh, have fabulous equipment. They, so that's going to be great. Acoustics. It's right? great. Acoustic. Well, it's actually going to be in their community hall. The acoustics okay. are great in there. Cool. And that will be an amazing location as well. And where else do we have? We have, a, 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 let's see, those are our main, those are our main ones. Um, uh, and then Theater we have, Guild? Theater Guild, yes. Theater Guild. Well, the theater I think Guild. we said Theater yeah. Guild. Let's theater do Guild. this. Let's theater take a commercial. Theater Guild 1 and 2. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. Let's take this. We we pay for this with doing a commercial, so we've got to take a quick commercial break, and we'll come back with David and Susan, and we'll wrap it up and tell you how to get tickets and where you need to be and anything else that's exceptional that we need to tell you before you guys go to the uh, Vero Beach Film Festival. See you in a minute. We'll be right back. It's time to call Easy Brew Coffee and Bottled Water Service and learn just how much you can save and how convenient it is to have your coffee and bottled water delivered right to your home or office. In addition to water coolers, Easy Brew offers individual bottles of water in 8 or 16 ounce bottles. No more lugging it home or dragging it into the office. Serving the Treasure Coast for over two decades, two letters, one simple name. Easy for Easy Brew. Visit e-zbrew.com or call 800-792-3285. Easy Brew. Kinky Boots is coming to Riverside. A dazzling extravaganza with music and lyrics by Cindy Lauper. It's the story of a failing shoe factory. When the owner meets up with a fabulous drag queen, she helps him save the business. Winner of the Tony for Best Musical, Kinky Boots, is now playing at the beautiful Riverside Theater in Vero Beach. But you don't have to wait. Get your best tickets now at the box office or online at riversidetheater.com. 
at Sunshine Furniture, our 35,000 square foot showroom is filled with the largest selection of in-stock coastal furniture on the Treasure Coast. Dining and bedroom sets, occasional tables, sofas, sleeper sofas, love seats and chairs, including lots of slipcover styles from Universal Upholstery, Four Seasons, and Capri. We also have a gallery of Tommy Bahama and Lexington furniture designed for a relaxed approach to the finer things in life. And right now, all pictures, lamps, and accessories are half price. Sunshine Furniture, 1295 US 1 in Vero Beach, next to Planet Fitness. Visit our website at sunshinefurniturecasual.com and also visit our outlet and closeout store directly across the street. <laughs> you never know what you're going to learn over the break when you've got these guys in the studio. There's such cool stuff. All right. Okay. Um, so, Susan, you said there now you have some horror films, or we have one horror film? No, we have two. Two. But one is extra special because? Because it stars a Vero Beach native. It has, it's partially <laughs> filmed in Vero Beach, and it's super well done. It's a horror love story. It's called Hannibal Mukbang. Hannibal <laughs> Mukbang. No, Cannibal. Cannibal. Oh, okay. Cannibal well, mukbang. Hannibal was a kind of a horror cannibal story. But... Uh, look up the word mukbang. cannibal <laughs> and, you'll, and I get... you'll get the movie. Oh, no. <laughs> Ew. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. But uh, the tagline is, what will you do for love? Oh, that's so <laughs> what cool. What are you willing to do and for Cindy, love? And Cindy, board Cindy, who all you guys know, our engineer, <laughs> she said, I got to see that one. Yeah. So, okay. You need, you, you mentioned you need home host. Oh. We were talking about the uniqueness of our festival is that the, we bring the artist in and and the uh, directors, producers, whoever comes in for the film and they stay with locals. Tell us about that. What do you need? So we on our website, I believe there's a spot where you can go. And if it's not there, then just send us an email um, that you can go and sign up to be a home host. And what you do as a home host is you house the filmmaker for about three or four days. Mm -hmm. Um, hopefully, maybe feed them breakfast or something. But they're oh, supposed sure. to have their they're supposed to have their own transportation. They're supposed to be able to get around on their own. As a as a host, you get film festival passes. Oh, so it's that's nice, worth it. It's definitely for everything. Uh, yeah. yeah, for everything. for all the films. For all the films and all the parties. And all, well, except for one. Except for the except opening, for the opening dinner. Opening dinner. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Nobody so. wants to go that anyway. No, I'm just, oh, kidding. Yes, <laughs> do. Awesome. just kidding. Yes, they do because it's a fundraiser and you should buy tickets for that. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying. No, if there's but for you, a wine lover, you should come. You should yeah. definitely, you should oh, definitely wow. come. We didn't even talk about the wine. We even have to do another yeah. show that talks know, about the do. wine part of this. We do. We will. We will. We'll do another show before. For this, no. this to talk about wine, David, you were saying um, Vero, vbfilmfest.org. That's where you That's buy right. tickets. Vbfilmfest.org. David, tell us about the tickets, and there's all different kinds. Yeah, what we try to do is sort of we look at our audience and we say, you know, what kind of passes would different members of the audience want? Mm -hmm. And so what we've done is we broke it down into sort of three categories. We said, look, there are people who really want to come see three or four movies, and we created a pass called Pick Four. Then there are people that say, you know, I just want to go to any movie whenever I feel like it over the course of the four days, you know, and we have one called the Cinema Pass. Mm -hmm. Then we have our Top Pass, which is called the Premier Pass, and that lets you into virtually every single party and every dance and every everything except the opening dinner. But you can also buy a pass that includes the opening dinner called the Vintner Pre Premier Pass. But if you wanted to go to any of the individual parties and dinners, you can actually buy tickets for those, too, all on the site, vbfilmfest.org. That's what you need to do is go there. And you guys have so much flexibility in there. Mm -hmm. um, you can pick which things you want to go to, which party you want to go to, you just want to film you want to go to. I love that flexibility. Mm -hmm. is, it, is that new this year? No, we've always done it this way. Okay. We, we might change the names of the passes sometimes, but we always have had various choices on how you buy your tickets. That's fantastic. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, David thank Dekir, you. Susan Horn. It was thank good you. to see you. Good to see you both in the studio with me. We will come back and talk about some wine, the wine side of this, because <laughs> it's a very beach film and wine festival. So we'll do this again very soon. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you guys for being my guest today. Pleasure. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Enjoy it. Vero Beach is beautiful. 
Go out, enjoy it, and we'll see you soon. See you here next week. Have a great day. Bye-bye.